Welcome to Spitbucket. We've got something really special uh, this week. Renard de Gironde. Pleased to meet you. I hope you. I got that right. Yeah, perfect. There we go. The French is getting better. <laughs> From Hennessy. And we've got uh, a wonderful range of, uh, of your cognacs. First of all, now you, you're from a family that has been associated with Hennessy for about um, 200 years. About 200, that's yeah, not bad, 200 years. Yeah, 200 years. The master blender for the, for the Hennessy company has been the, in my family since, uh, since 1800. And my uncle, who is the, the current master blender, Mr. Yep. Yan Fiyu, is the seventh generation of the family being the master blender for Hennessy. Mm. First, uh, let me tell you that what is important in cognac is about controlling quality. Mm -hmm. So it's about spending time mm -hmm. tasting. Uh, we spend in, uh, we've got a tasting committee at Hennessy, we, we are seven. We meet every morning about 11, 11.30 uh, a.m. and we test about 40 to 50 samples every, every morning, day. every day of the year. This is the only way to control and monitor perfectly quality. Mm -hmm. This is necessary and uh, actually it's also a great time of the day and we always look forward for this moment to create our product. Okay. Getting up in the morning and uh, every day off to taste 40 or 50 cognacs. And you know, you wake up always with, with a big smile, see, oh, well, let's get to it. And it's always a, you know, a new excitement about this, this moment. It's just more than testing, it's, really, it's also sharing comments with, with the other person. And it's yeah, just discovering a new experience every day because it might seem similar, but always different. Can you tell us about VSO? Yeah. We've, yeah, we've jumped the gun and uh, yeah. poured these. You tell, uh, you know, you can talk better when you've got the glass. Um, first thing is this glass, tulip mm -hmm. glass. This is the glass we use every day for our tasting. Okay. And we believe that this is the best glass for, for tasting to get really into the product. This is an amazing glass. And you, don't, you don't have the heated brandy balloons? No, I think this is more of a fancy way, but probably if you want to go really into the detail of the product, this is the way to go. Mm -hmm. So just cognac. A uh, quick reminder, Great Bay Spirits. Yes. So Cognac is actually uh, a town, small town, yes. in southwest of France, about 100 kilometers north from Bordeaux. Yep. We grow um, a grapes there, mostly Uni Blanc, um, most known as Trebbiano here. Yeah. Yep. And uh, we go through a um, wine making process, so the white wine, and straight away we start distillation process. It's double distillation process okay. in the very traditional uh, Cognac steel. Yep. That starts basically early November up to the, the, the end, of, uh, end of March. Mm -hmm. At the end of March, you cannot do distillation anymore. Okay. Because, you know, the weather gets warmer there and, you know, the wine might start changing again. So for quality, you have to stop there. So the key is, well, it's, it's not only blending to get the, the, the various qualities, yes. but you also want consistency because you want this to be tasting the same yes. as it did 10 exactly. years ago. And, in and this is one of the... Again, why do we spend all this time testing? Because this is the only way to make sure that when you're creating a blend, we are retesting the previous blends to make sure that the quality is exactly the same. So whether we're in Sydney, but if tomorrow you are in, uh, in Beijing, if you are in Tokyo and New York and in Paris, you and a CVSOP will be the same everywhere. Oh, this is our key point. Brisbane tomorrow. But yeah, um, Brisbane tomorrow. So. Yeah. VSOP is a blend of around 60 different eau de vies that mm -hmm. has been aged for at least four years old, four years and up to uh, 15 years for the oldest eau de vie of, uh, of this blend. So he was searching for um, already delicate and uh, nice full fruity character in this cognac. This is what the eau de vie that we're using, this is the kind of character that we're searching there. Th there's, I mean, I guess often with cognacs and, and, and spirits, you, you're looking almost for that spirit burn, but there's, no, there's none of that thing, no. it's just this beautiful... I think this is one of the images that you oh. might have from cognac, mm -hmm. but uh, well selected, well blended, you don't have this burning side at all, it's really, really nice. Not it's, just, it's just absolutely yeah. sort of this subtle, smooth, mellow... This is how delicate and elegant is this one. And then if, if, we, if we discover Hennessy XO, then... Okay. One thing that is critical is Within the range, each product is very different. Sure. It's coming from different eau de vies mm -hmm. with different characters. One is not an older version of another one. Mm -hmm. They're all different. They're like the different children of the family. Yep. So, and we, we love them. We don't have to, you don't have to pick one, you know, you can keep all of them. Uh, but so, what, what, what do you pick to make this different to that? Is it just one of the, one of the major difference 
uh, talking about these two ones. Is the OV in the XO here, we're talking about 100 different OVs mm -hmm. that have been aged between 10 up to 25, 30 years uh, or, uh, of aging. For this particular um, product, for an XO, most of the OV would have spent sometimes at the early days in new oak barrel. So they take kind of uh, nutty characters, mm -hmm. then move to all the barrels to continue the aging process. And then, so this is where you kind of rich and, you know, smooth, um, peppery, spicy character that you get in the, in the neck. So this is where it's coming from, lastly. That's just, that's just glorious, isn't it? The only thing we're missing is a couple of good cigars. Mm. Um, I think you will always have a good time, like with this cognac and cigar. I've got, I know that um, with your sort of sister company, if you like, um, uh, uh, Mot, uh, yes. Uh, uh, Richard Geoffroy from Don yes. has matched different cigars, cigars to different vintages. Mm -hmm. Do you have different, or I mean, do you guys think, okay, that should be a, a party, mm -hmm. that should be a um, I think we do, room? We've got some big cigar fun within the testing committee and mm -hmm. in the Cognac environment. And it's true that uh, we haven't picked one cigar, but you know, depending on the module, on the cigar you pick, you might go for this one or this one, depending on the intensity. Uh, I don't have enough knowledge about cigars, but I know that there's such a diversity, so many interesting products. And I know that you're a big fan, so you'll probably be able after the testing to say, I want this one with this one. Pack these up, we'll head yeah. up to Brisbane and, and we'll, yeah. we'll be fine. <laughs> um, now, that so, is, that's yes. just beautiful. And XO, mm -hmm. you know, World Wine, um, we drink it either neat, you know, in a tube glass like that, but also mm -hmm. just on the rock with like, Big, a big house cube, mm -hmm. slow melting, and you will have a totally different it expression. Just release. Here you've got the full complexity. Yep. Having it with a nice big house cube, you will discover all the layers, all the elements. So it's like opening it and discovering all the elements. So depending on the weather, nice day like today. Yeah, maybe with an house cube, it'd be perfect. Very, you know, rainy today with family. Maybe you go it for the neat version. Then it's up to you. Okay, Renaud, we've, uh, we've looked at uh, the VSOP and the XO. We'll come back in a moment and have a look at these special ones. Yeah. Thank you for being on Spit Bucket. Yep. Very welcome. I can't, I can't give the normal line because we don't even have a Spit Bucket, but we'll see you in a moment. <laughs>